logic board is there. That looks lovely. This looks like crap. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Hi everybody, welcome back to the lab. Today we have a MacBook Pro with no internal speakers. Can we fix it? Then donate to a local charity via Give It. Let's find out. Let's get going. We have our MacBook here without any speakers. And if we hit play on the video here, and then go volume up, volume down, we see that the speaker's not present whatsoever. So what we need to do is we need to check for an audio signal. And the best way to do that is we plug in some headphones. So I'll just quickly plug those in. And if we have a quick listen here, I'll hold the headphones close to the mic. Let's just put in a brand new ribbon cable and we'll see what happens. Right. We can actually see that uh, our audio signal is going to the actual headphones. But if we unplug again, it will not go through to the speakers. So what that basically comes down to is the audio tip detect circuit. And what that basically does is it detects whether you put the audio plug in the actual side of the MacBook. And that's important because the MacBook wants to know where it can send the audio signal. So obviously if you've got headphones plugged into the MacBook, um, you want the audio signal to go straight to the headphones and not the internal speakers and vice versa if you had the plug unattached from the uh, MacBook itself because the audio isn't going to the headphones you want them you want the audio to go to the internal speakers here on the MacBook itself so that tip detect circuit uh, takes care of that and we'll have a closer look at that right now Right, let's take off the back cover. Our audio port is located in this corner. So we'll take a closer look under the microscope. This is part of the board where we have our audio jack and that's on the other side of the board. And that actually looks like this. Okay, it's just plugged into the other side of the board and just soldered in. On this audio jack, we have our normal pins. So for our headphone speaker, we have our left speaker. We have our right speaker. We have our ground. And we have our microphone input, just in case you've got a gaming headset. And then we have pins one and two, which are part of the tip detect circuit. So basically, when there's nothing plugged into the jack at all, pins one and two are meant to be shorted together, and that tells the MacBook to use its internal speakers, obviously. And when you plug a plug into the actual side of the MacBook right here, pins one and two go open circuit, and they tell the MacBook, hey, send all the audio to the uh, headphones, and don't worry about the internal speakers. So what we'll try and do is we'll have a look at pins one and two. We'll see what resistance they are. So because there's nothing plugged in, they should be short circuit. And we'll have a look at our multimeter. And we can see that's reading really high. So it's on the mega ohm setting. So that's 550 kilo ohms, uh, which is uh, very high. It's basically open circuit. And uh, if we short the leads together here, this is what we should essentially get. We should get zero. So because there's nothing plugged into the jack and those pins aren't shorted together in the tip detect circuit, uh, we can essentially uh, deduce that this audio jack um, is absolutely stuffed. So what we're going to do is we're going to rip out the logic board and uh, put in a another jack and we'll uh, see what happens and go from there. This logic board for those technicians who are playing at home is the 823115 and this is for the MacBook Pro 
13 inch 2012. There we are, our logic board is out. Now this is our reflow oven up here and yes I know it looks like a Sunbeam mini bacon grill kind of um, oven type thing but uh, this is what we use as a reflow oven and it's a special oven controlled by a little Arduino computer and it sets the temperature precisely um, so what we're going to do is we're going to set it for about 80 degrees and we're just going to build up uh, some thermal mass in that board and it's going to make it a lot easier to take that bloody connector off. So let's get it going. We have a nice warm board. We have our little connector here and we're just going to Hit those pins with a little bit more solder. It'll make it easier to suck up the solder from these joints. Work our way around. Then we get our bigger iron and take up the excess solder. Get a bit more flux down there. Give that brain a bit of a wiggle. Lovely. That's all done. Now uh, we'll put the board back in the reflow oven. It's cooled down a little bit. And we'll build up a little bit more thermal mass. Heat it again for another five minutes. We've got a bit of thermal mass in it. Take him out. What we do now is we get our board and we hang it over the edge with our little audio connector here and then we get a clamp. And we get the clamp and we put him on We'll wind it up nice and gentle, just enough to hold the board on there. And then we remove that audio jack. We get our Hacko hot air workstation. And a hot air workstation just throws a whole heap of hot air onto a section of the board. It's like a hairdryer on steroids. And we just start heating up the underside, get a bit of heat in there, we're trying to hit or heat up those two connectors at the very end, get them nice and hot, and he's gone, while well, we've got a little bit of remaining heat there on the joint, it's going to clean up those holes a little bit. We'll just solder in pin one and two. Get a nice fillet. Lovely. And before we go any further, we're going to make sure we have that short there because it's just going to be a waste of time putting in this new socket and finding out we haven't got the short. And if we have a look there, we have the short circuit. Yep, we've just uh, had a little bit of collateral damage. We just lost a little diode here. So I'll just drop a bit of flux down. And we'll just 
just retin those pads quickly. Lovely. There we go. Bit of alcohol. Mr. Toothbrush. Lovely. We'll dry them off. There we go. And it's pretty bloody brand new. Uh, you'd have no chance of picking that I've actually replaced that jack. Now it's time to put it back together. Okay, we have everything back together again, but can we get sound out of the internal speakers? Let's ask the guy in this YouTube video. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And I totally agree with that. Sounds like a top bloke. I should subscribe to his channel one day. At the end of the day, this was an easy fault to diagnose, but it's a shitty job ripping that bloody socket out without thermally stressing the logic board. The best part is, a survivor of domestic violence gets this upcycle MacBook for free. This is a tool for education. This is an opportunity for a survivor to reinvent themselves. All donations are pushed out through GiveIt, so check them out. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the content, subscribe or share. Also, don't forget to check out our social media. And my question to you is, what shitty jobs do you hate? It could be vacuuming the floor, hanging out the washing. Leave those comments down below. Other than that, hooroo, and we will see you next time in the lab.